Park Smell. What up, fellow line guys? Give you guys a little tour of the equipment. First, we started off with the 14 foot trailer. I got this strapped on my chest so we got to look how we look. Got the got the rackums on our side trailer, just in case I want to let down and uh, do the thing with my push mower. And we got some of this. First, you know we can't start without the 21 inch Honda mower. Let's see if we can get it on, on and see what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I use this for a lot of my small yards. Everything's been, been around. This was the first more I grabbed. This right here is a 48 inch first. And when I say I love this thing, first more I ever grabbed. Bought a use. Got the discharge on it. Ugh. It popped up and doing some leaves here. <laughs> My first baby that I bought, love them, 48 inch, and you know I only write, get some of this dust off, I only do the Kawasaki's guys, I don't know what you guys ride, but I only do Kawasaki's on my moors. Next, here we go, we got the 61 inch Snapper Pro, let me come around this way. This is a more about my second year, which was last year. And I bought it right before I bought another used more. I'm going to show you in just a second. It broke down on me. And this is my snapper. Sorry, kind of tight in here, guys, in my garage. It's a 61-inch deck snapper right here. It's my big boy. I pull out when I want to hit my big big yards. And this is my, my other backup right here. This is a Toro. It's a 52-inch Toro Z-Master. I need to go down to hours for you guys. So I bought this used. 380 hours on that one. I think I got about 45 hours on the snapper right here. It's brand new pretty much. And on my first, I have uh oh, 501, right a 501. Got my three gas gas cans. Extra bike for one of my nephews when he wanna come over, dust that thing off, let him ride it. Got a, a propane can. I said propane. Excuse me, fellas. Air can just in case I run out of air. Got that just so I put some air in it. These tires go flat sometime on these zero turns. Uh, we'll shove a little right, a little ladder over here. Nothing too big. This right here I was given to me by one of my clients. And it is, hold on one second. Oh. It is a Toro chainsaw which is uh it's electric it was given to me so <laughs> why not take it one of my customers gave it to me brand new I actually used it a couple days ago didn't cut too much too crazy so right here is my weed eater one of them had one last year and I'll tell you a story about it. it's a crazy story uh, all right I heard my weed editor. There's the Red Max BCZ 260TS. And I got the speed feed head put on it. So don't, don't, don't laugh at that wire I got in there. That was the end of season last year. Stop it by. It was like one of my last jobs. I stopped through something out real quick. It ran into bullshit. Bull crap store, bullshit store. Excuse my language, but bullshit is what we're gonna say over here with men. Alright. Now, my other, I had a Husqvarna weed eater, and uh, last year it jumped off the damn trailer, man. I didn't lock it on the rackums. And it jumped right off the trailer down into a big ass pit, and it was nothing I could do. I think just I lost it. So I'll be good buying another one soon. I'm probably gonna go Red Max. I fell in love with these Red Max now. Uh, it's right here. First, uh, little 
Blower I started with, a little Husqvarna, nothing too big, nothing too fancy. I think this is like the smallest one you can get. See the Kawasaki again. That's <laughs> all right. So nothing else but the cowl, baby. Then here's my other blower. Uh, let me get over this. My long legs on this. My other backpack blower. And it is a EBZ8550 from Red Max, the big boy. Yes, sir. Also, another Kawasaki, because that's all alright. Kawasaki. And this is, this is the first more. It's crazy. I bought this. When I first started, I bought this and I bought it used. And the guy I bought it from, when I started it, the damn thing started the first day. Started up, ran. As soon as I got to the guy, I brought it. Got it back to my town. Thing never started back since then. Took it, got to fix it. Worked for about a week and a half, and it's just been here. So, part of it. Yeah, you guys see it. I know my garage. I know I need some stuff in my garage, but I stay in an apartment right now. So, I'm trying to get my stuff together, get my shit together. Hopefully, have a good season. You know, like we all want to have good season. You feel me? And so. It's a little tour of the garage, man. This is Boneyard Line Service. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned to the channel.